guys <laughs> welcome back to my youtube channel oh my it's been a long while like <sighs> i left youtube basically and uh it wasn't easy on me like there were so many things and so many engagements and also courage <laughs> yeah so at some point i think that i got discouraged and yeah after everything i thought of it i was like okay it's part of difficulties that everyone faces like everyone can actually face discouragement in every part of their lives and uh, it actually depends on how you improve and also make a better step and um yeah it gets better basically so that's why i'm back <laughs> i'm back and i hope fingers crossed that i'm going to um be better this year like it's actually a plan <laughs> and a focus to like be focused be better this year and also um be more intentional right yeah so today's video is going to be about how life has been in france like what have i been up to yeah so so many things has happened like in the space of one year that i left and um, yeah basically i came to france in 2021 again for the second time as a language assistant an english language assistant to be precise in france in a secondary school in france and i came to help teachers to teach english language in france like as their assistant right so i did that in 2021 again for the second time and i was able to go to a new environment meet up with new people and also meet up with new students so like an exchange time for me to visit another part of france though i was still in the same region so in december of 2021 to cross over to the new year we were able to meet up um other nigerian assistants we decided to meet up in paris and we met up it was a nice experience like guys it's officially the end of our december 2021 hangout It was a really nice experience maybe if you would like to watch the video i would put a link to one of um the assistant's video down there so you could go watch it because i couldn't um post up those um videos at that time and i lost some of the files so basically yeah we met up in paris and we went to the eiffel tower we went to champs Elysees, we visited disneyland <laughs> And so many activities that we did, cooking, having fun, games, interviews, and all. And basically, after the event, everyone went back to their homes and decided to, like, look about what to do next. Like, after the program, because the program was to end in April, so we were like, okay, after the program, what are your plans? basically if you are doing the assistant alone program that is english language assistant program you have a visa of seven months so in our first year we got a visa of seven months but luckily we were able to get a visa of one year so instead of getting a visa that ended in may or in june or in april we were able to get um a visa that ended in september or october depending on um the duration and when you applied so i got a visa that was to end in september and i decided to apply for school so with some other friends of mine i applied for school and that was in the month of may i applied to so many schools basically and i applied to the last one i think in may or june but then i had a problem which was 
the type of visa you have as an English language assistant is not a visa that you can easily use to get a job. <laughs> So basically in March, I was able to get a side job that I was doing and it was actually a cleaning job. So it wasn't so stressful at that point. And though it was something that I needed like to try and save up as I can, because I didn't know what next, I didn't know um, what would ha happen and all. But Unfortunately, even after saving up and after having to work some months, in the month of May, I had to leave my accommodation in school because the school I stayed in gave me an accommodation. So I had to leave and I found it difficult to get a house. Like um, in France, for you to get a house, you need to end like about times two off the rent. So basically, I was able to get a family who um housed me for the meantime and along the line it was a bit difficult also for me to get a job like get a job that i could earn uh from so i was doing the side one i had gotten in march and then i decided to apply for the last part of my um studies right like apply to the last school and luckily for me i was able to get admitted to the school and i decided to use the um, results to apply for my visa and i applied for the visa and i got back the reply in two weeks so i decided and applied to um what they call using in france so it's like a factory working in a factory and but then you are paid well so as a student i decided okay since i'm a student now maybe i could use the opportunity to earn more during the free period and then when i get to school i would be able to work less and have funds <laughs> so basically i think it didn't really go the way i thought because um it was a bit stressful and secondly moving to another city was not easy um i got a school in a city different from the one i i stayed in and a city far because i was in the north of france and i got admission in the south of france so i basically had to um travel <laughs> so i had to like leave my former house my former family my former city to move to an entire different city that i have never been to before like i think i'm going to talk about that like in another video like how was it what exactly did i um experience was it easy the difficulties i faced and um yeah what i what actually helped me to um adapt to the environment and mind you, it's actually a colder environment, like, who oh, it's really cold here. But then, like, I was able to adapt, and I have been adapting, and I'm getting better. So I came to school, and getting a student job, for me, was not so difficult. I was able to get a student job under two weeks of arrival here in Grenoble, and I got a student job in the restaurant where it's like how you say it's in french they say polyvalent so you've been able to do different um um tasks that they do in the restaurant so like there are so many things so it has to be a possibility for you to be able to do all these things so it has not been easy <laughs> like it's a stressful job per se but then i think it's one of the most flexible jobs that you could actually do as a student because it adapts to your timetable as a student and mind you i have been so engaged like my program is really difficult like it's engaging i start early and i end late so it was actually the only um job per se that i could do in the evenings and on the weekend and um i've been doing that since october so basically yeah i decided to apply also for some things that um my school put up an announcement for so to become an ambassador of my school to my country and to my um, host school to my former university so i got um, the post of becoming an ambassador to my school in nigeria and i can't wait to also share more videos with you guys 
about how it has been the journey and what it takes also to apply and become an ambassador of your school to your country yeah so basically i think that has been the summary of my activities like what i've been doing for the last one year i left and i think i will be able to go more into details about most of the things i did and how those things can help you in your desire to come to france or your desire to come to europe because most of the things that happen in france are also um they are the same with things that happen around europe so if you're trying to come to europe or wanted to come to france this video will also be for you so i'd like you also to share with your friends give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and like click on the button so that you can get more notifications for me when i'm going to post more about the french culture about the french environment about the french language and also obviously about my school and about my city yeah thank you guys for watching see you next time have a nice day au revoir